Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is movie number four, I believe. And remember, if you want to watch the entire training, you can go to our YouTube channel or you can go to our website, cardanoffects.com, and you can um, check uh, all the videos from there. Now, this, uh, this movie is going to be about uh, merging our objects because so far we haven't done anything with our images. We, I know, I mean, we, we loaded uh, images, you know that you can bring video and things like that, but we haven't done anything to them. So what I will do is, uh, let's bring something here. I'm going to click here, read, that's good. I'm going to bring the same sequence that we used before, so I'm going to click on open. And now you can see that I have a, an HD format here because this is the one that we specified in our project settings, remember? So that's what I was talking about. Now, yeah, here, we have an error here. I really don't know why we have an error. Probably it's because the, the file, the, the pad is not working correctly, but that's what I was talking about. I tried to, to show you an error in the previous movie and now we have it. That's great. Okay, so let's uh, select this. I'm going to delete that and let's go here to read. And let's go up one level. I'm going to go here, tip sequence. Let's select this and let's click on open. There we go. I don't know why it was giving me that, that error, but not a problem. So we have our image. Now, let's do something here. We want to modify this, obviously. And so let me take another object. In this case, I'm going to select this and I'm going to drag it right here. So I have two images. and. What I want probably is to take this fire option and place it on top of this read node. And like I told you, this uh, training is not about compositing, it's not about uh, creating a great image, it's just that I want you to see what is going to happen when I do something inside this uh, with my tools, okay? So I don't want you to, to say something like, okay, why the, the fire is uh, in, in, it doesn't look so real? Or why the fire, you know, it's not about that, it's about using the tools. So. Let me uh, let me connect uh, the fire so you can see what we have. Then if I go here, for example, I can show you that you can see actually that the alpha channel. And now alpha is another thing that is not uh, a new uh, uh, term. Is uh, we have to talk about uh, alphas and color uh, color correction and you know color lookup tables and things like that in composition. That's another topic. But um, what I want you to see is, if you know what alpha means, is that uh, we have alpha here, we have transparency, and actually I can reveal all uh, these, uh, and I can use this as a foreground, and then put something else uh, behind it, and because I have an alpha channel, uh, if, uh, because I have transparency, I can actually see it through that object. So let me just uh, select uh, these two objects, I'm going to uh, separate them like that, and then I'm going to call another object. I'm going to press tab, and then I'm going to call, uh, I'm going to type M, E, R, and then you can see I have merge, all right? So I'm going to call merge node. Now the merge node is the one that is going to allow me to f uh, fuse two objects in, in one. So the first thing, I'm going to take the output and I'm going to connect that to my viewer, and obviously I'm not getting uh, I'm getting nothing here because it's empty. My merge is not connected to anything. So now we have two different options here, A, B, and then I have another one here called mask, okay? Well, the, the, the ones that we're gonna see right now is A and B. Now, A, if I connect A to this one, you can see that now I have something here. It's all white, why? Because I changed that, remember? So now I want to see my RGB value, so I want to see uh, red, green, and blue, all my colors. Perfect, so I have this. Now I can take this B and I can connect this one to this object. And wow, what's going on? Well, the first thing is that you need to remember that we specify the size of our composition or the size of our project. In this case, we're using an HD object. So let me remove this one. You can see that we have uh, this, the size of this object is driving the size of my composition, which is um, perfectly fine. I mean, we we don't have the uh, we don't have any restrictions. Uh, but when we connect this one, let, let me actually just first show you the size of this one. I can go here, and you can see that this one is at nine uh, uh, one thousand nine hundred twenty by ten eighty. So this is uh, a bigger image than than the other one. Okay. So when when I connect this one 
here what we have is the size of this other image okay being applied in this region and now because this one is smaller nuke doesn't know what to do with this and it's actually just bringing uh, placing all these pixels for you so that it's, it's trying to filling up the the empty area uh, that, that is missing okay but now why this object is uh, like that well probably because this is coming in A and this one in B. Let's switch these things. I'm going to place this object like that and then I'm going to take A, I'm going to connect A to this one and then B to this other one. And wow, now you can see a big difference, right? Well, that's one of the most important things about compositing. You need to know what object goes first and then which one is going to go behind it. Imagine that you're using uh, pieces of paper. You have a magazine and you are cutting all these shapes and you are placing, for example, you're cutting this guy from one magazine, then you have a background which is um, other piece uh, or your, your, your bigger piece of paper and then you have this one uh, which actually comes in transparent paper and then you can put it on top. Now this is uh, what is happening right now. I am placing this on top of this image and what we have is now uh, something different, right? We are actually changing the this image. We have something new. Now we have this uh, this emptiness here, and remember, this is coming from this other object. Now something uh, something that you can do actually is called another node. For example, I can come here and I can uh, select. Uh, well, we have different options, but let let me just select this one called reformat so I, I'm gonna click here to the options of my reformat and I'm gonna change this to HD for example so I'm changing that uh, this format to HD and you can see that still I have nothing is happening why well now I'm gonna take this one and I'm gonna take the, the reformat I'm gonna disconnect that, that one from here and I'm gonna connect again this one to to my object and now I'm going to take the reformat and I'm going to connect the reformat to this one and this one right here oops sorry not the mask the B to this reformat and now you can see that I have uh, something better now if you have problems when, uh, with, with your images if they don't have the same space you have the the option to call a reformat and that way you will try to compensate the area that you're missing in this case, you saw me doing the same thing that I did with my merge. I take the reformat first and I place it on top of the read and then it wasn't doing what I wanted. So it was that, like the same thing. When I place the merge and I take that as the first input, it was not giving me what I want. So all that is uh, about the, you know, the same thing. All uh, you have to take care, you have to think about what you want to connect before you connect something. and. So now we have our reformat and this image, remember, if, uh, if, if we try to disable this right now, you can see that our image is uh, giving us this area. But then if I make it visible again, everything is kind of you know, matching perfectly in this area. And now the read node is actually at the center, in this case, the, the fire. Now another thing we can do is actually move this object. I can call uh, another, well, you can go here to transform and select the T of transformation and now I can place this object. If you want to place a node in between just take it, drag it, place it right here and there you go. Now we have the transform and when you place that you're gonna have another kind of handle here that is gonna show up. Now with this handle what you can do is actually um, you can rotate okay and I am rotating read number two because I am connecting this to uh, after the, the, the read 2 I have the transform so this transform is working for the node behind it so I can rotate it like that I can uh, take it from the center and I can move it and place it here and I can make it look like his hair is on fire so I can you know skew this and I can make it smaller in any di direction I can take it like that and now as you can see it looks like uh, kind of uh, something is burning in, in, in his head. Now, another thing that we can do is hide that handle if you don't like it. Remember, I showed you that before. If you press the letter O, you can uh, actually uh, hide this, all the overlay objects 
like that press O uh, pressing O again will come up with all the HD and all these uh, numbers for your the size of your object etc etc so that's uh, another option using the transform tool is actually very powerful because you need to move your objects a lot um, now the next thing is that if we come here to our merge node you're gonna see that we have a lot of different options and the first one is called the operation and all these has to do with mathematics yeah when we have to uh, well it's not like you have to know what uh, uh, every single uh, one of these objects is gonna do for you but I recommend you to try to, to find um, the uh, what you said that the formulas no it's not the formulas but how these behaviors are actually acting I mean multiplication right or uh, over well over is the very uh, you know there's nothing uh, uh, how do you say difficult about knowing what over means now if we go to out you have out and everything goes black so that's what I mean like all these different objects for example if you divide which is like I was telling you mathematics okay you divide you are dividing these images and that's what you're getting the, re the result of this uh, operation then you can copy whatever you have and then you are all obviously copying all that so these are just um, different operations that you can use in order to uh, fuse these objects together now another one that I will well the, the one that I oh, use all the time is this one called overlay uh, another one is the over that's uh, the one that we had before now another one could be uh, probably the maximum okay and you have a different version um, then we have which one divide we see, we see that one on top so you can place that on top and then you can see how the kind of smoke is now showing up a little bit more so it's just uh, how the, the colors are going to be uh, you know the operation of colors multiplying your colors dividing your colors uh, adding uh, uh, subtracting things like that so that's what is happening here with this operation so it's just a calculation then you have the option of setting for example if we go here uh, we can go here to over one more time it's actually looking at the same kind of a thing then we can change here to color space video color space you can see how we are kind of increasing the the, the black of uh, this image we don't have that uh, smooth transition in the transparency then you have to you, you can set the bounding box to union which is the option that we have right now but you can say intersection and the same thing is going to happen now nuke is going to try to say okay you scale scale this object with the transform node so now this is uh, a small object and you want to see the intersection well i'm showing you the intersection this is where the these objects are intersecting and the rest i don't know what to do with it so i can uh, you have uh, another tools here and you can uh, select for example the black outside and now all that information that is uh, was missing or that, that was uh, there all the information that Nuke was like what, what should I do with it now the black outside is taking care of that okay so now let me do that let me go here to the uh, intersection I'm gonna select union again you, you can actually select A okay which means is this other one and then B is the actual uh, the B okay we, we have A and B and this is number one the foreground and B the background so let's skip that in union and then we have the channels what channels we want to use I want I don't want to use the red channel in A I don't want to use the green channel in uh, A either so now we don't have red and green and that's why we don't have those colors we have only the kind of black uh, you can see here because the only one active is blue but if I um, check blue we don't have uh, any of these channels available I can even remove the alpha and if I do that well it's gone basically now we can see the alpha we can see the blue green red and you can see how if you want to actually see red you need um, to have blue and green active then this is a great thing if you try to you know understand how channels work how colors and multiplications and all these kind of things work I suggest you to come here and click on these little guys and change your your settings here so that you can see um, different uh, options and how everything is kind of interacting so you go here and select now from for example and then you're gonna get different color so all these operations are um, uh, you're gonna find them uh, right here okay now let me select again over here 
then you have uh, these options where it says also merge and then you have uh, here's where where, where nuke um, brings all the the power because we can enable uh, stuff and, and personalize exactly what we want and we can even create channels that are not uh, inside these objects right now um, but that's uh, another topic so other things you can do here is as you can see we have the transform node you have the, all these options that allow you to change everything manually here instead of just selecting the the, the handle for example right now I, I am here in my transform number one I can select this and I can say okay go to minus 600 and I am moving that fire okay now um, the same thing you can well, let me go here and these minus uh, symbols are because of the coordinates that we're using here inside Nuke. So just uh, remember, uh, you, you need to know where your your starting point is. For example, if I set that to zero, you can see that I'm bringing that to the center, where probably you're thinking that, that zero is right here, and you're trying to, if you press zero, and you're like, why my object is not coming here? Well, that is because um, there's uh, you need to know where the, the position of your object is at the beginning and then what uh, the, the coordinates that you're using in, in, in this case. Um, so what else do we have? Well, all the different options for rotation, scale, skew, uh, the center. Like right now here, for example, the center, I can change the center. I can send this to zero and zero. And now you can see that I'm bringing this down and now we are expecting it. Like it's, it's going to this uh, corner. But now remember, this object is not, uh, like the size of this object is not, is not only the fire, it's actually a bigger object. And the same thing, we can come back here and select where's my merge here the union we can use this intersection you can see that here's the size of of this specific object and that's why it's not reaching this uh, point right now but okay let's go and try to keep moving uh, we were gonna be talking about merge I think that's uh, basically what we have in our merge well, we we'll still have um, some other options here, like for example, the mask. If you want to use a mask, right now we are we are not using anything. But if I select, for example, here as a mask, I use my uh, red channel, and that's what I'm gonna get. I can use, uh, for example, my alpha, and obviously it's gonna give me something pretty cool. And but right now we are not using anything. But if you can create your own alpha, you can uh, bring it in here. You can use another channel, for example, even from another file. As you can see, I have all these things uh, coming up from one of the files that we opened before. Now you can see that if I try that, it says that it's not existent. It's not existing channel because I don't have it anymore here. But um, that's the thing. You can come here and select the channel that you want. And uh, let me just go here to the alpha. So we have the fire in there. Um, and another thing we have is uh, the the fusion, okay, well the mix, where we can say, okay, I don't like it, I want to be, uh, I don't want it to be really pronounced, so I can just kind of increase this, and that's going to make it uh, pop up like that, so we have the strength of the, the fusion or the merge, uh, the, the fusion, the strength of the of this merge, or the merging of, of this object, <laughs> objects, okay, so uh, we we have inject. Uh, we have the, some other options, like for example invert. And what now? What we're doing is, is sending everything all the way around. And because of the the, the type of objects we have right now, you can actually we, you cannot see the difference. But looks like it's just disappearing. But we are actually inverting the the process. Then we have fringe. The same thing. And uh, right now it's just like disappearing. Um, and basically that's what I wanted to show you. Now you know how to you know, manipulate your images inside Nuke uh, using the transform. Uh, we saw how to use the reformat. We saw the uh, fill uh, with black and um, the merge, which is actually one of the most powerful nodes inside Nuke. I will see you later. Thank you very much. Remember to subscribe. Remember to like our videos. And um, if you do that, I will really appreciate it. Thank you very much. I will see you later. Bye-bye.